Sometimes I read in the spot. Anyways. Welcome back! Welcome back! Welcome back! Welcome back! Welcome back! Welcome back! Oh, oh yeah, man, how you doing? On, you good? On, I know you like yeah, that. Good. I know oh, you like that. Come on, you been back, man. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Take Care with O and my boo, Princess. Come on, stop telling them, Robert. This is not your real name. That's my real name. Okay. And we're going to be doing a mukbang and we're going to be trying chicken. Please explain to them why I'm wearing my glasses. So that they're not <laughs> I'm just wearing my so, glasses. So, is it how it's probably you explain? Because you're the guest. Yes. Okay, so she's wearing her glasses because she's a guest on my channel and she doesn't want to show her real face. No, 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 no. That's not the reason why. I told you because I don't look presentable oh. and we don't have any other time to film it apart from now. See, but then you've said it. So, I don't say something else. Okay, so basically, because. Okay, we're my, I said Miami, we in Orlando for our birthday and um, this is Takeaway channel so she's used to like coming up with our makeup it's fine by me but at the same time we just travel so I'm like really tired and I have like dark eye, what do you call it? Black eyes. Black eyes so I can't really like show my face, my face but basically that's why I'm wearing glasses so please don't judge me, don't really say anything it's just a new thing. Thank you. <laughs> So I got the regular meal, the number one at Chick-fil-A. What do you get? I You're got not the spicy, spicy, spicy deluxe sandwich, basically. Mm -hmm. And I got, um, uh, hello sauce. I love chicken sauce. I also got, um, uh, chicken nugget. Come on, join me. Come on, join, come on. <laughs> but not really, don't come on, join me. So, it's Roger's first time at Disney, right? It's my first time at Disney World, guys. You've been here before, right? Mm -hmm. I'm super excited. I can't believe in the art. When I first gave my order, mm. I requested for um, Sprite, and I don't know what the lady was doing. She gave me two things. I don't know if there's anything called Diet Sprite, but basically, that's what she gave me, and that did not taste right at all. So I was like, this tastes like not cough water. I was like, that's really crappy. I went back and said, this doesn't taste right. And the guy, I think the guys used to be people complaining about that. So he was just like, okay, here you go, like, try this one. And I tried it, it was actually good. So it's like, wow. I got my fart. And some funny. Because I love trying. Um, mm -hmm. So what are the questions? What are we answering today? What are we talking about? Mm -hmm. We're literally just freestyle at this point. Because why not? We just want to, we just want you guys to watch us eat, basically. Mm-hmm. Do you know how to eat? <laughs> <laughs> so you take the food, and you put it in your mouth, and you open it, and then you chew, yeah. and you crunch it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So people swallow. Mm -hmm. Or we but, yeah, it's good to show. Not everything though, but mm -hmm. like, when you eat, like you show. Then you swallow. Um, and I got a meat chick. I think I got me the wrong meat chick. Bro, she didn't tell me what milk she wanted. She said she wanted milkshake. The time she said milkshake, she didn't say vanilla. I went up there, I just got whatever I saw. I was like, chocolate, go, got it. <laughs> she didn't tell me. Yeah. If you love milkshake, like if you go to like any fast food and they ask you to get a drink, you always get milkshake. Please thumbs up this video. Like, <laughs> we are the re MVP. Very like, Where would you get pop? Like, pop is basic and kind of make you bloated, so milk chick is the shit. No. Especially chick fil milk chick is the shit. I hate milk chick. I love milk chick. Vanilla. But it brings the boys to the yard. She's got me. Chocolate bar. I have no choice. In fact, you try to do it with your melon thing. Tomorrow's our birthday. Mm -hmm. We're excited. We're good. We're, We're just in like Disney tired. World. I just tired. I just I'm not tired. I'm very full. I always have energy. I'm like, always ready. We can see the. <laughs> we can see the place from here. Literally. I'm gonna call a, a video, but I took up the place. It's really beautiful. And if you don't know, but now Florida is a place of palm trees. Everywhere you go, there's a palm tree. Do you know? I'm telling you, you don't know. Like, if you don't know, like, if you don't see palm tree, they're not in Florida. You can go with the roller coaster ride right? going on right now. Oh, you're not gonna do roller coasters with me, are you? 
Who? You. Nah, girl, I don't do that shit. <laughs> Are you trying to kill me? Yeah. <clears throat> when I was coming to Miami originally, because my brother have like a just come because he's a pilot, so I get like free flight. Yeah. Or G. <clears throat> I'm a G like that. But I, I fly standby. It has its pros and cons, but it's still like free flight, okay? The first flight I went for, I couldn't um, fit. They couldn't fit because there was no more seats. At first, I didn't miss the flight. There was no seats for today. I had to go to the next flight. So was, they rolled over. Your name rolls over when you're standing back. So the guy was like, there's a seat for you and everything. But then they couldn't find just a, just a giant minute for the plane was going to leave. And I'm just like, oh my god. I'm going to stay this up for a whole day. I'm not like, I'm not freaking out. I'm like, wow, I'm missing out my fun stuff to do and meet my friends mm -hmm. and everything. Trying to get my ticket, I'm like, go, 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 go. So I'm like, okay, cool. Because they're giving you a, flight, a ticket, and you're the last one, they usually communicate with people in the plane, that, okay, there's a standby passenger coming in. I know why I was running. The thing is, I saw the guy in front of me running. So this guy was just running. I said, no, we'll leave with that. I already told them that we're coming in. So like, they were told them the two people coming. That's how they told them that they have the seat for. Is it a pilot or what? Mm -hmm. People that do the check in for you, check your the boarding pass. I don't know what they're trying to call. I was not running. I was wearing this exact same wig, but today I barely pinned it down. It's not even wrong fact. I just felt wind on my forehead, on my head. I was like, "What is going on?" I touched my head. My wig was not there again. Hmm. Looked behind me. The wig was on the floor. Was people looking at you? The thing was like I was standing by some last one to board, and the guy that was running was in front of me, so I was the only one like boarding after him. So it was like nobody was behind me, but the guy that told us to go in was like kind of walking slow, but behind me. I'm pretty sure he saw what happened. I was just like, "Oh my god." Why do I feel when? Let me try and I didn't even feel like I didn't care. I walked in and like touched my head like ah. Were well, you guys, was it when you're already like you're about to enter into the plane? Mm -hmm. So they already checked your pocket, just entry in the plane. Mm -hmm. Oh okay, no one will see you there. That walkway thing. Okay, okay, okay. No one will see me because I was like the only one in there. It was mm. like the long line. No, I thought like you were still at the airport, airport. Oh no, 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 no. They just did your I would just security paint. check mm -hmm. and you were like, I was like, no. So just to enter the plane, why were they making you rush? Like the plane is not gonna go. That's what I'm saying. If the plane was going, they would not let you go in there. Exactly. When it comes to the military, no more. Mm -hmm. I think the government to show you. You can't be getting there and the door is um the door is, the door is locked. But yeah, um it fell. I had to go back and pick it up like a G and put it right back on because you know I'm not here for them. I'm here for myself. But I got it on, got on the plane. And so basically, I'm that's, here. Is that, would you say that's your most embarrassing moment? Publicly, yes. But no one saw you do. Here's the thing, but it's still embarrassing to thought that, it's that thought of like, wow. Cause the guy was technically behind me, but he just like, he wasn't close enough where he could see everything in detail. Like he was walking really slow. Mm -hmm. I had gone halfway, more than halfway to the plane. And I noticed that, and like, cause he kept saying like, ma'am, ma'am, so I was so embarrassed. I was trying to run to the plane. He was like, no, put your bag, my bag was gonna get checked in my So you wear your big bag or not? Yes, snap. Nah. And I put the the wig on. I, I was like, okay, I put this wig on quickly so I can dodge the guy and not see him again. So that was embarrassing. And I was like, wait, did I put this in the back? Because I had to because I had it in a ponytail. So I'm like, is the ponytail on the front and the lace front is in the back? I'm like, God, God, just put that. I was just touching my head. I was like, this, just run into the plate. When I got situated and, and I sat down, I realized everything was in the correct way it should be. So that was good. So cheers to that. Okay. For me, I've never experienced my week my wig falling down mm -hmm. so i don't even know how to how i would feel i see it in memes a lot i'm just like oh my god i've me. seen it happen to people mm -hmm. and i've laughed i'm like, oh. roll, like those roller coasters that you don't secure your wig kind of like nah imagine losing all those bumps that hair, hair wigs are not cheap imagine you lose your hair and we're doing a roller coaster ride like that's so painful because once it's gone it's gonna then let you go back down all the way down and go get it like that sucks mm -hmm. other story i had was um my dumb self forgot that when you're traveling, you don't put your oversized like stuff like um, makeup wise, like face wash or some things like lotion, the big ones in your. I don't luggage. think this is your first time traveling. Mhm. Mm it's not my first time, but honestly, I like, see someone would think. True. With the way you like. Because honestly, I think I, think I was just pack I was packing last minute, and I was and I the thing originally that thing was in my big bag, like my Fenty Beauty, my Sopro um, spray. They were in my big bag. I don't know what I don't know what what devil was speaking to me that day. I just said move it so your hand luggage, and I really moved my hand luggage, and I put it, I purposely put it in my big luggage for a reason. 
want me to move it and i'm like okay cool i'm there no that she comes like what is your bag i'm like ah what's my bag i think it was my dress my dress has like a lot of beading on it i'm like maybe that's what's like making them want to know what's going on they were just taking out my fancy she took out my face wash i was like i don't care about face wash you can do that anyway no i don't get the difference but i get the neutrogena one so it's like Okay, then she brought out the Fenty. I wanted to die. I was like, Jesus, God, what the, who did I offend? I was so pissed yeah, at myself. Please. Like, and this is my first time having this happen to me. And I was trying by myself. Usually, if it ha it's never happened to me before, my friends were telling me, like, oh, you could have paid to go get it checked in. But then it's like, I was trying to catch the 7 45 a.m. flight, and the line outside for you coming to check was very long. So I'm thinking, by the time I go back and check in and get, and then the, for the, by the time I enter the line and get to my turn, they will tell me, okay, bring the bag. They'll say, okay, we're not bringing the bag. I want to tell you to pay the $30. I could have paid the $30, but the thing was like, the line was too long. By the time I finish doing that, and then go to security again, which is a very long line, a very long hassle. By then, I probably would have missed the flight, because then the, like, the flight was, and I don't know what time it was, like, but it was just like, not enough time. But now I, I know better. You pay for shipping to your house, back to your house. You know that? Oh, but you were rushing. Mm -hmm. But I felt like since you used to have gone back to Avenue for it. You can do that? No, but you put it in the trash. It was thrown in the trash. Also. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like when it comes to material things, like, I love my material thing, but it's not like, I, I'm not, I'm so, it's not a hard decision to let them go. Like, during the 20th, initially I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. But then I was like, you know what? I'm going for my birthday trip. I'm going to enjoy myself. Like, there's going to be more things, more memories to create. Like, this thing is like, the what I was going to experience in Florida, my Fenty being gone, it did not outweigh it. I just told my friend to buy me another one. I'll pay her back before it goes out of sale because it's Bola. like. Bola! <laughs> oh my guys are ballers. <laughs> yeah, the ballers now. My brother was singing to me. He was like, um, too much money. Problem is how to spend it. $20. But I just feel like, even if I know that I'm going to go broke, it's like, I just feel like God will always bless me with money. Like, that's one thing I know that. No matter what I'm going to, God will bless me. So it's not like, if I lose my friend today, there are people who, are, who have um, way, way worse problems. I'm just like, you know what? My only thing is that I want my Fenty to, I want the Fenty before it's discontinued. So I told her to go get it for me. And she wants to finish it. Just, yeah. I Nadia can get it. I didn't ask her yet. But she didn't even make my birthday gift and I, to, I don't worry about paying for that one again. And that's why I didn't really lose money. I'm technically I did, but still. But sometimes I'm, I was just like, eh. Because whenever I lose something, I'm just like, it's sad that I lost it. But if I have the means of paying, buying it again, I just like, I, I, that was not, then I stopped feeling, I stopped feeling like, he laughs about it. He's like, I can afford to buy this thing again. So it's not like, I don't make a big deal of it because I can afford to buy it again. It's one of the things I can afford to buy again. And I think that's one of the ones I usually take better care of. Because I'm just like, I cannot afford to lose like my camera now. This stuff is expensive. I have to stay for a whole year to start pricing my YouTube channel. So I cannot afford to lose my camera, my lens, anything. Mm -hmm. So are we done? Um, what else do we want to talk about? You still eating, so. The new bones still Oh, guys, I'm on the phone with Tony. He's coming for my birthday because it's I think my birthday in this country. I'm recording a video, so you called in the middle of it, so I'm just telling you my video. I'm gonna rest of doing my video. You don't mean it. <laughs> Dr. Tony. You have to respect on the name, you know? Nonsense. But I was not I was not I was on silence. I didn't even see what you called. Oh yeah. Okay. Thank you. Chris, should you be the one taking me out? You also flex me, not me flexing. Let me get the bendy. Oh god! But yeah, guys, we're done with this video because I'm done. Just gonna say bye. So guys, we're done with this video. See you in my next video. Bye. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> Happy birthday to us. Bye. Like, oh my share, face, Ashy. Send everyone your brother, your sister, your grandfather, your mother, your father. I love you. Bye. 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 Bye.